So one thing that got brought up to me as a question very early on in the comments after my review was people asking, since there's that eight year gap in Spider-Man's career between when his, you know, spider bite happens and what's happening in Marvel's Spider-Man, could there possibly be any chance at a prequel, aka Arkham Origins style, and do I think it would happen, why or why not? So I'm going to address that question in this video. So first up, let me say I actually like Arkham Origins, I like it more than Arkham Knight. I know not a lot of people will agree with me, but, you know, I didn't like the focus on the car, which handled like a tanky tank, which I get it, yeah, it's a tank, but it didn't need to handle in such a poor way, right? Like, there's good mechanics and bad ones. And when you start thinking about Spider-Man, that eight-year gap is rich with Spider-Man history. We don't necessarily know. We get a small look into what it might be in this game, but a lot of stuff is left not really answered, and we don't really know how certain, you know, encounters happen. And honestly, when you really start looking at it like that, it makes you think, right? Because, let's be real, this is going to be a franchise. It's going to get a trilogy from Insomniac, maybe even more. But Marvel and Sony are going to want to capitalize in on this game, considering of how much it's already getting praised, right? So, if you can get a separate studio, like maybe Insomniac gets so big that they have multiple studios working on multiple games, aka Uncharted and The Last of Us, right? I think at that stage, it's very feasible that they could do this. And I think it gives them this opportunity where it's familiar territory and you don't have to innovate on the story, much like Arkham Origins, right? You already have everything ahead of you, so go forward with it. What I think sets it apart, though, is the fact that I don't think they're going to hire some sort of outside studio and not really, you know, talk to them or try to ignore them and then not make it canon. I think they want to stick with this as a full-on yes we might do it yes we could do it and honestly really wouldn't surprise me if they explore some of these elements in marvel spider-man 2 with flashbacks and stuff and then they go back to it and they start playing around with it and other franchises certainly have done it for sony and turned out pretty good i mean uncharted did it with golden abyss and i thought that was amazing i think it's better than uncharted 1 and at some points can rival some of the best uncharted moments but it was a handheld property so i think it will happen it's just a matter of time and yes, I know, there's the book based on Marvel's Spider-Man. I've read it, but let's be real. That's not what people want or even are wondering about. 